Hello everyone, my name is Shane, my online name is Lanzer, and today I'm going to show you a $20,000 capital release from BitConnect. I started this journey 120 days ago, four months, and at the end of those four months, BitConnect advertised that it would release back the capital that was originally invested. Today I'm going to show you that the capital of $20,000 was released back. As you can see on my screen here, the capital release line is right here, given to me on October 4th, the last day of payout that was made, and it was immediately deposited back into my lending wallet here, where I can now transfer $20,000 out of my lending wallet. But as you can see, here's the $20,000 I originally invested four months ago. And it has been bit returned back to me. So to finish off BitConnect, we're going to go over the metrics tracker. And the projections here will now be largely, largely disregarded in favor of the actuals to date, which will now reflect complete accuracy of start to finish 120 days. You see there are zero days left there. So to recap, I originally invested $20,150 on 6 June 2017. It took me 525 BitConnect coins, which equated to 6.9 Bitcoins at the time. Payments are made every 24 hours. And at the time, all they had was a 30 day average. Nowadays they have a 6 day average. But on 6 June, the longest Reaching day was 30 day average, which quoted me 1.29% at 30,960 dollars advertised return without capital release and 50,960 dollars with capital release. It advertised that I would be able to recover my principal at 154.80% return on investment with an evaluation period of 120 days. The transfer process was from United States dollars to BitConnect to Bitcoin and then into my external wallet, which would then transfer back into United States dollars. I broke even at the 84 day mark. This says 90, but I recorded it as 84 days. And yes, BitConnect has released my capital as I showed moments ago. The total interest payout was $29,000, which was about $1,500 lower than the advertised raw amount. The highest payout was $485.62. That occurred on day 45 here. The average payout was $245.48. And the lowest payout was $50.38. You can see that here, day 30. Actually happened multiple times, also on day 10. And and day 83, and day 90, and pretty much day 98, it was only a cent higher sort of day 104 and also day 109. So the process that it would take from United States dollars back in the United States dollars took $558.61. So overall, it's a pretty good fee rate for $30,000. The average fee incurred was $20 per sprint from taking it out of the lending wallet all the way to bank account. And the average free rate was 2.09%. I find that very acceptable. The total amount I exchanged for Bitcoin were was 9.15 Bitcoins. Average amount was 0.28 per sprint. The average exchange rate was 3288.97 and the average 
BitConnect coin to Bitcoin transfer was 0 0.026. Total amount I exchanged for US dollars was 28,730. And the average amount exchanged per sprint was $990. The total difference from payout to bank account, which was the difference from what was paid out here to what was realized here at the end. So it's that original payment in United States dollars to that ending conversion back into United States dollars, $858.49. So almost $1,000 lost to something, whatever that difference was. And I assess, my analysis is that it was the difference lost and the time it took for me to Ex put it in my lending wallet to when I exchanged it back into my bank account. And the average difference from payout to bank deposit that sprint was $29.60. The average interest rate was 1.22%, which is trailing acceptably behind 1.29%. The highest interest rate earned was 2.41%. The lowest was 0.25%. And the average interest rate with the volatility software only was 0.97%. If you recall, the $10,000 tier gave me a 0.25% guarantee every day, which is the reason why you saw on this 0% day here, normally I would have received $0, but because I was in a tier where I was guaranteed 0.25%, that 0.25% of $20,000 is 50 dollars and 38 cents so with the 0.25 percent the average interest rate was 1.22 gross return twenty nine thousand four hundred fifty seven dollars and sixty two percent net return which is actually deposited into my bank account twenty eight thousand dollars seven hundred and thirty dollars and fourteen cents which was a hundred and forty two point five eight percent return on investment compared against 1.54 so about an eight percent difference and I, I find that acceptable an acceptable margin of error looking at some graphs here you can tell that the interest payouts were all over the place up down high low middle ground there, there was no pattern that I could discern, no rhyme or reason to it. It was the interest payout was paid out per day and it truly was a variable interest rate. Conversely, the return on investment and the average interest rate, after the, the large dip in the very beginning, uh, day, about day seven, day 13, the average interest rate had a, a slight dip there. And then by day 43, it was fairly even until day 120. My Woodlands are invest in BitConnect coin again is now very likely on the right hand side. And it's very likely because at the end of the day, BitConnect coin advertised 1.29%. It yielded 1.22%. The return on investment was 154%, 0.8 advertised, and it yielded 142.58%. It's on the right-hand side of the very likely, and that's because there were a number of questions about BitConnect that were never answered, and I was not able to understand properly, which, which is notable to consider whenever you are considering to invest in BitConnect primarily because a number one is we no one has still ever seen the trading bot which is the chief valuation of BitConnect coin and BitConnect the the valuation of BitConnect and the reason why people use it isn't because of the exchange because without the training bot BitConnect coin would be like every other altcoin and what increased the value of BitConnect coin was because of BitConnect's lending program 
not because of the in the inherent value within BitConnect coin. So no one ever saw it. I still haven't seen it and there's not much known about it. So where does the referral value come from? I still haven't seen where that comes from. Uh, why is there a difference in payout to USD transfer? I am unsure, but I believe it comes from the difference in exchange rate from when the payout initial initially occurs to when the the deposit is transferred into United States dollars into an external wallet. Why is the process payout United States dollars transfer to BitConnect coin, transfer to Bitcoin, transfer to external wallet, and then back in United States dollars? Don't know. How is the conference being paid for by BitConnect coin? Don't know. How do payouts occur when trading bot has experienced 0% yield? So even though the trading bot failed on a number of days completely, I was still guaranteed a 0.25%. And where did that money come from? It didn't come from the trading bot. So not sure. And that's what I put unknown. And sometimes there were odd deductions. It happened more regularly towards the end when you would see these unknown cent deductions. But in the beginning, it happened a little bit as well. Cent deductions, cent deduction, cent deduction. Why? I believe it was because things, because BitConnect coin was rounding down in all cases. But what happened to that lost value? Because I did not receive it. And then Crypto Girl's interview with Mr. Satish. A reasonable person would find Mr. Satish's answer as unnecessarily vague. Which inter introduces unnecessary skepticism about the operations on BitConnect. So here on the left were the questions that I wrote down. Um, most of them were word for word as much as I could. In some cases, I had to paraphrase a little bit because otherwise the answer was difficult to understand. Will you ever show the training bot or give screenshots? And his answer started with for privacy reasons. For privacy reasons, we are not disclosing anything about last night when we showed the logic behind the training bot. So two things is one, he quoted privacy reasons. Maybe that's a language barrier, or maybe he truly means that the privacy of the training bot. We are not disclosing anything about last night. So he seems to have implied that the night before they did show the logic behind the trading bot. And, and the other videos I saw where people who did show up for that event, none of them mentioned anything about the trading bot. In fact, a few of them mentioned they still hadn't seen it. So I don't know what that reference was for. So will you, would you ever show the trading reports like Control Finance does? And I'm quoting here, the system is going to add more currency in the trading platform and volatility software. At that time, the system will give out some information about how the volatility software is working behind the scenes. More information to come at that time. Okay. Whenever at that time is, then we'll, we'll know. What will take place at the October event? Will we meet more of the BitConnect team there? The developer's not coming, they're from all over the world, but we will see they might come. Mr. Satish's responses did not inspire confidence in BitConnect's operations and its staff. But at the end of the day, I go back to the analysis and the actuals to date, and the average interest rate was with an acceptable margin of error the return on investment was within an acceptable margin of error and the net return was within an acceptable margin of error so despite the skepticism introduced in the 
inner mechanism of BitConnect coin and what it runs on, BitConnect lending program itself held up to scrutiny within this 120 day evaluation period. Now I cannot say what will happen in the future. I don't know if it will continue to do that, but for my analysis, I found that, that the advertised rates promoted by BitConnect was within a reasonable margin of accuracy at the conclusion of the term length. That's everything I have for this video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.